everyone. This is Chris again with Virtual Firearms Association. And today what we have in store is a crazy story in which a cop mistake acorns hitting the ground and hitting the car. He mistaked them for gunshots and that gunshots were actually being shot at him and that he was actually hit. Wait till you hear this story. Go ahead, take a look at this clip and let's talk about it. Do you know your tag number off the top of your head? No, okay. It's okay. Come back. Uh, uh, Mark right there. Dude, am I hit? My legs went numb. So after taking a look at this story, I mean, this is a crazy, crazy situation. Um, I would have to say that maybe stress levels or also maybe never being in a situation like this actually caused this officer to panic. But you saw that from the officer panicking in the situation, it caused everyone else to panic. And then it was even more gunshots that was actually being fired when it was literally just acorns that was dropping down just because you had a suspect on the back of the car um, in handcuffs doesn't mean that he was able to get free and actually be able to grab or fire him so you definitely have to think at all times as far as is it reasonable is this actually happening or am i basically just overreacting but when that adrenaline is up and it's pumping and everything like that you can just just have memory dump unless you've already been in a situation and you actually knew how to actually act. So I'm pretty sure this is the first time he's actually dealt with something like this. But you saw how his adrenaline and his mood, how everything was going, how it actually led him to believe that he was actually shot and actually hit. So I don't know, the mind is a crazy thing and it just definitely just can play tricks on you just depending on the situation that you're in. But this was an extreme situation, but he took it to a whole nother level and actually fired shots. You got to keep in mind, you are responsible for each one of those shots that are actually being just shot. Whether you were, whether you were hitting a target or not, you're still responsible for that round. And you definitely don't want to stray around going through somebody's window, going through somebody's car and actually hitting somebody who's innocent, who has nothing to do with that situation at all. So this was just a crazy situation. I'm pretty sure some kind of discipline may end up coming out of that particular situation. Um, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, I'll definitely try to keep you tuned uh, if I hear anything further, just as far as that situation, um, how that situation may end up planning out. But one of the things I also want to remind you is that y'all concealed carry permit holders that are out there. This can goes this goes for you as well. Um, you can pretty much find yourself in a situation like this where it can actually be something that is not. So you just got to be mindful that. If you are somebody who's actually carrying a firearm, you have a sole responsibility for everything that goes on with that firearm while it's on you. Make sure you are following uh, state laws, um, basically not committing any kind of crimes or anything like that. And definitely don't want to just be shooting your gun off for something as silly as acorns. Um, but again, I wasn't in that situation. I'm pretty sure high stress, adrenaline rushing and things like that caused him to do something or made him perceive to actually see something that actually wasn't there. I'd love to hear your take on any of your situations that you've actually been in. If you ever had to draw your firearm or you ever actually had to use it just in a concealed carry 
um, permit status. So leave comments in the section. Let's go ahead and talk about it. What are your thoughts on this video? Should that cop be disciplined for what it is that he was doing, mistaking, mistaking acorns for gunshots? Uh, should he get a pass just depending on the situation? Let's, let's, let's talk about this. I would definitely want to hear your feedback as far as what are your thoughts and opinions just when it comes to that. But until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section. Like the comment, go ahead and subscribe. And until next time.